maybe then they can help to answer. Yeah, yeah. No, the this one speaks Russian. I don't know what they say. I really hope it's not inappropriate. Um, but we can I find out. I hope they speak Spanish. Uh, no? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So, do you think projects such as uh, GrauVM would bring interesting properties for Interop? Yeah, um, that was GraphVM or what? Oh, yeah. oh GraphVM. Yeah. Um, I don't know enough about GraphVM to, to answer that question, sorry. Good. For three data problems in a trench approach, oh. do, you think, do you think these containers and K8S could be a possible direction? Yeah, um, so you can totally use these tools on top of containers, uh, and that can help if you have uh, really annoying tree structured data, processing it on distributed systems really is not great with our current technology. Um, if, if you look at Spark with how we do our like graph traversals and stuff, it kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> but um, the exciting news is you can fix it. Um, <laughs> Pull requests welcome. Uh, sorry, actually, so, so the, the nice thing about the graph technology for Spark is that it's largely developed outside of Spark, um, inside of this project called GraphViz. Um, and it's really neat because it's, it's one of the things which like, shows you can build these, these really cool processing tools on top of a general purpose system and, and make something uh, that works. Um, Spark has its own built-in graph processing that does not work. Uh, so don't use that one. But yeah, if you if you want to do this, um, no, not graph is graph, it's graph frames. Graph is is something completely different. Sorry, graph frames. Graph frames is the one you want to check out. Very honest answers, right? So don't use it. Use it. I love it. Uh, do you see any synergy between big data and blockchain technologies? <laughs> I see, I see lots of synergies. So many synergies. So, so very many synergies. No. Um, uh, you, fuck. Um, so you could totally process a lot of information um, about that. Most of the traditional big data technologies, though, uh, I think, aren't like a great fit for blockchain stuff. Um, you, you can have really big blockchains, but you tend to probably not want it to be at the point where you need a classical big data system. Um, if you do, something has gone wrong. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Good. And uh, what was the most successful implementation of a big data solution you have seen? Ooh. Uh, definitely one of our customers who used all of our tools together for synergies. Um, <clears throat> no, um, I mean, OK, sorry. I, I have to think through what I'm actually allowed to say here, um, because most of the things that people tell me are apparently secret, or so I found out last time. Um, <sighs> fuck. Um, word count, of course, is very successful in the big data space. Um, I, I think there's been some really interesting stuff. Uh, if you look, for example, the TFL has done some really interesting writer analytics, um, which is really cool uh, with, with some big data stuff. There's actually some really incredibly fascinating stuff um, around fraud detection. Um, some of this stuff is public. A lot of the other ones are private. Uh, it's, it, you can normally tell that the project is like, gotten really successful when it, all of the commits drop off um, and the open source project no longer is open and then the founders all start a company together. Um, but like it, there's there's some really cool things like uh, Civ Science does a lot of really cool stuff. There's other people doing things in the same space. Um, I know everyone loves paying their taxes uh, and getting audited and so some tax collectors have done some really interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, whatever. There's lots of things, they're cool. Several nice Buy Spark. <laughs> 
We do have time for one more question. I see we have space here. If you are not reaching the document and you want to make the question, just come here. I'll share the mic. Good opportunity for a last minute question. No? Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It was great. Thank you, Boo, as well.